Hi everyone, this is George Ginkoff and I'm an amateur astrophotographer. In this video I have a few things to share with you. First, I will show you how I've upgraded my imaging telescope and cover cable management that I've done. I think you're gonna like it and hope you'll catch up some ideas for you as well. Second, I will show you my latest pictures of galaxies I was taking using this setup during the galaxy season of 2022. Many amateur astronomers use various devices for capturing deep sky objects. We have a telescope, a guide scope, imaging camera, guide camera, and mount that holds everything. Some astrophotographers also use a dew heater, motorized focuser, or filter wheel to capture using a monochrome camera. All these devices require different cords in order to operate. There are like uh, power cords or USB cords. And if you use many devices to run your imaging session, you might want to start thinking about cable management as it plays an important role in astrophotography. And why is it important? So while your telescope's loose to a different object, let's say, some cords they might get caught for something, or sometimes cables they get pulled and uh, we have star trails on our pictures as a result. I tried to pay attention to cable management before and I thought I did good at the beginning. However, I didn't really like the fact that I had a lot of cords running from my telescope, even though some of them were wrapped into one cable sleeve. Uh, I wanted to build up a rig with maybe one or two cables running from the telescope to the ground. Well, let's look at this setup closer and I'm gonna show you what I've done. As you may already know, my imaging telescope is Skywatcher 80ED that is mounted on HEQ5 Pro mount. On the top of the imaging telescope, there is a guide scope with ZWO ASI 120mm mini camera and my imaging camera is ZWO ASI 2600MC Pro. It is a cold one-shot color dedicated astronomy camera and cooling is a key feature that allows me to capture long exposures with a really low amount of noise that I would get on a DSLR camera, let's say. These devices require USB and power cords to operate and I've had all of them running from the telescope to the ground before, so how did I manage this? First, I've got a mini PC that is placed on a dovetail on the top of the telescope. I let some characteristics of this computer on the screen. As you can see, it is not a powerful device, but just look at this size and the funless design. This PC doesn't have an active cooling, and as a result there are no potential vibrations that may affect imaging sessions. I haven't noticed any overheating so far, but I'm waiting for summertime to test it out during some hot nights that happen to be here in Virginia. Overall, I found this PC working really well when I run my imaging sessions. Alright, so this PC has four USB ports and just look at the way that uh, guide camera is connected. Uh, this is the shortest cable on the rig and I really like it. Uh, so I have an external Wi-Fi adapter that I need for stable internet connection as a control computer using TMViewer application. So this port is taken by ZWO 2600MC Pro camera right here and the other port is taken by the USB hub that I placed on a dovetail over here and uh, uh, to this dovetail I have the mount connected and power box and the other port is available. I use it for the flash drive to download all the images that I take during the imaging session. And one of the best things I like about this computer is it requires a 12 volt power supply. In my case, the mini PC is powered by the Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box that I have placed right on the telescope using the double side tape. Pocket Power Box is basically a power hub that provides 12 volt power to devices that need to be powered. I was able to purchase this power hub just for 100 bucks used, which I think was a really good deal. Also I had to buy a temperature sensor and DC power cord separately, but it was like extra $30, which also was fine. As a result, my mini PC, Skywatcher mount and imaging camera are powered by the power box. Also it has two ports uh, to connect dew heaters, and I have two of them for imaging telescope and the guide scope. And with this setup, I have just one cord running from the ground to the telescope. And this is a power cord for the Pegasus Astro Pocket Power Box. As a result, uh, Power Box provides power to all devices, including the mini PC, that meanwhile controls all devices. I really like the way everything is hooked up now. 
there is no way any cord will be stuck or stretched and overall the setup itself looks much better than it did before and I think this time I was able to build a cordless style imaging rig. I hope you also like the way I build up this telescope. Please leave me a comment down below what you think about cable management that I've done or tell me if you have any questions about this setup. By the way, I wanted to thank you all for subscribing to my channel that has received more than 500 subscribers already. Uh, I couldn't think I would be able to achieve this number in less than a year. So thank you so much guys for all of your support, all the comments and likes that you've given to me. I wish I could show you how everything works, but I couldn't catch a nice weather where I could spend some time outside filming this video. But I promise that one of my next videos will be about it. And now, let me show my latest pictures I got using this telescope over the last few weeks. Let me know in the comment section below if you like them. I hope to see you in the future videos, and until then, clear sky.